game on fight with another video I say y'all fight with another video make sure you hit that like button comment subscribe yes I said subscribe turn on your post notifications it's free do it for me what up gang I'm back with another video let's get straight into it but before I get into it make sure y'all hit that like button when you hit that like button to help my video on channel grow I'm gonna give y'all time to hit that like button and if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel I'm on the road to 90k and I need y'all help all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button all right let's get into it man we got your boy Big Mike man and for the people that don't know Big Mike is FBG Wooski Big Brother for the people that don't know Big Mike rep O Block for the people that don't know Big Mike is the one that King Von was talking about when he made the song I don't know why he told yeah man for the people that don't know the background and the history on Big Mike Big Mike and King Von went and did a drill Big Mike got arrested King Von was already in custody on unrelated charges now Big Mike he go on DJ U and did an interview and he explained why he told on King Von. And just to sum it up, before we get actually into the video, Big Mike say he peeped that King Von family members, King Von friends, people that supported King Von, they kind of was setting Big Mike up to take the charge for the murder so King Von could get out. Yeah. Yeah, he say King Von people contact the police and was dropping Big Mike name on that body so King Von could beat it. So he say once he peeped it, hey, he told, gang, he told. But let's get into it, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. The elephant in the room when it comes to your story. Right. And that's the night Malcolm Stuckey was killed. Right. May 29th, 2014. Mm, I, ain't, I don't know nothing about dates. Okay. Um, On 57th in the South? That's what they say. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so uh, speaking upon Malcolm Stuckey, was he an innocent bystander the way the news made him out to be? Or was he uh, like a rival game member? I mean, see, he was, he, see, he was, he was, he was, he was banging, but you know, some niggas be having one foot in the street, one foot out the street. Okay. Like, you got the porch, you got the sidewalk, then you got the streets. It's just day his ass on the porch. So he basically letting you know that Malcolm, he was popping it, but he really wasn't a threat. Malcolm, and just say from describing the way that Big Mike is saying it, Malcolm is the dude that got homies that's doing the drills and, you know, that's really doing the, the killings. And he rocking with them. And he might get on the internet and talk a little noise and blase squase, but he ain't really involved directly with the crime. That's basically what Big Mike saying. He had one foot in and one foot out. He should have stayed on the porch. That's what Big Mike saying. You know what I'm saying? You ain't with niggas and shit like that. And she, she be happening, man. There's ugly out here. You gotta be on play all the time. You gotta watch what you say to niggas. Like, Cause you gonna play that role like you tough or something like that shit. And see that back up what I just said. He said he was hanging with niggas and it, and then you gotta watch what you said in it. So basically, he was hit by affiliation. He was talking that talk, and he was hanging with people that was doing the killing. So hey, that put him in a way. So can you tell us what happened on that day? I really don't want to go too much in it. I don't want the fear to try to pick this shit up and try to get. But you know what I'm saying? Some shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, cause I don't want the fear to try to get you for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the state can't pick it up no more, but the fear can. Okay. You know what I'm saying? To try to indict me on this shit, but basically, you know, the nigga ended up losing it. 
go ahead and see it. She feel I'm coming here, bro. That time, you can really see. Yeah. You know? I see. Wow. Okay. His girl in the background calling the shots. God damn it. That's it. Don't say no more. And that's real. That's real. That's real. A lot of these dudes that be on these interviews talking too much, they need a lady like her in the background letting them know, hey, you doing a little too much. All right, that's it right there. Next question. Now, the reason why, uh, you know, we all interested in this story is because no one has ever been able to, like, tell us a story about going on a drill with Kane Vaughn. You know what I'm saying? And when we read through the reports, we, we read that Kane Vaughn was, like, really on that. You feel me? Um, it's reported that he had not only was Malcolm Stucky shot, but there's a couple other guys that were shot during that time. Yeah, he was. Uh, one of them got shot in the face. He survived. So, so when we when we when we listen to King Von songs and we listen to these interviews and you know we gather all these different type of reactions about him, uh, with you you know being his right hand man at one point, right. is it is it safe to say King Von was really like that? Yeah, everybody and their mama know that boy was really like that. Everybody that tried to downplay is not a lot. Right. And that's one thing I said, man. Listen, you can tell by the music who really live in what they saying and who not. King Von, you could tell he was living it. Because he was rapping it and his visuals. You could tell the vision he had in his videos. Cause a lot of his videos, he directed them and put them together. You could tell he seen what he was saying, how well it was put together. So a lot of people, you know, the ops that be saying Von was like that, man, I could tell without even knowing Von he was like that. And I know they just hating. Just imagine Big Mike, Von done made a hit single about Big Mike telling and Big Mike coming out letting y'all know, man, Vaughn was like that. He ain't got no reason to lie. Truly. Like, the city we talk about it in the song, he really going that shit, man. Like, a lot of these rappers out here right now, I ain't gonna put no names on them, but a lot of them niggas, they know who the fuck they is. A lot of these niggas from the city that they rap about that shit. Yeah. They wasn't doing none of it. They not doing none of that shit they rapping about. He can, I, I can honestly say he one of the most genuine rappers, you know what I'm saying? Because I listen to his shit, you know what I'm saying? He one of the most genuine rappers, shit. Yeah. He talk about shit that he really was doing, man. I know he really was doing it because I'm done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I watched him. Mm -hmm. you know, I watched who he became. I watched what he was doing and shit like that. Like, that nigga really was doing that shit he was talking about in the song. These other niggas, they fly, and that's all count. Good for real count. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all talking about, I say it's say y'all talking about who in the top five type shit. Like, niggas who y'all put it, niggas who they put in that top five, they you know, like, they just got a name, that's all. You know what I'm saying? Because they be murders and shit. Everybody thinking, like, oh, yeah, they, they was that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they was that. 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 Top five killers in Chicago. I seen some shit on, on Instagram and shit. Right. And when I was looking at it, I'm like, man, what the fuck out of here, man? Dude, that's a fucking thing. Yeah. So let me ask you this, you know, uh, since, since since we can't talk about what happened that night, because the feds, you know, might pick it up. Because you know, already did your time for this yeah. crime, right? But that state, you know what I'm saying? Like, figures how they work. I don't want them to wrestle me into no Rico with no niggas. Sure. Cause I ain't involved with none of that shit. Sure. I'm a, I'm a and for the people that don't know what he mean and clueless, okay, he done his crime for the murder that he committed with King Von, right? But it was state. So what the Fed can do, the Fed can jump down on him and charge him for the same thing and say he did it to further the game so he could be wrapped up in the rico charge they could say that oh this killing happened because they was in a gang war so it's the same charge but for a different reason type shit so they saying he murdered malcolm because they was in a gang war he did it to further the gang that's how 
you can be charged with something in the state you can do your time and the feds come get you on the rico because they could say oh you did whatever you did you did it for the gang so it's the same charge but under different circumstances just like the young thug situation with the guy that shot up Lil Wayne bus you know he went and did his time or took a deal or whatever he had to do with the state but the feds came and got him and say look but you did this up under the act of YSL and we charging the gang now with a RICO so that's how he got implicated in the RICO for some shit that he already did his time for and took a deal for because they were saying oh yeah you hit up Wayne Buss up under the situation to further YSL it's a viewers now we moving forward what I want to ask next is like uh you, you got arrested for this a couple months later after it happened? Yeah, it was like... May, June, July. I, I got arrested in July. Right. How did they wrap you up? How did they come, you know, what made them come get you? So, whole time... I ain't gonna put nobody's names out there or whatever. But whole time, you know what I'm saying, I was dealing with this little bitch who was connected to bro. And... Uh... She had called my phone and shit. I was put up somewhere, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, doing too much shit out there in the hood and shit. So I like to go be able to just chill and not have to worry about shit like how I do when I'm in the hood. So I was chilling, you know what I'm saying, at one of my little ladies' cribs or whatever, you know. And, you know what I'm saying, the little bitch had called me and shit, and she was like, uh, what you doing? I'm like, shit, what's up? She like, man, I just left the police station. I'm like, what you mean you just left the police station? She like, shit, they just showed me a picture of you and shit. It was time out she was involved with a murder on 57 of the South. So I'm like, what the fuck you mean they showed you a picture of me and told me, told, told you that I was involved in a murder? Like, these the police out here really don't know me like that. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know? She like, uh, well, they got a picture of you leaving the scene of the crime. The whole time in my mind, I'm knowing ain't no cameras over there. So I don't you got me leaving the scene of the crime. So I was like, man, they ain't got me. That's somebody else. Oh, who? Get out of time. So she like, I just wanted to let you know, you know, your name got brought up and shit. I'm like, my name got brought up. That means somebody brought up my name. Like, somebody tell a lie. So at this point, I'm knowing what's going on. She and she sitting in the police station and got me on speakerphone. And, you know, the detectives and shit right there and shit. So I'm like, man, I ain't did shit. I don't know shit, man. I don't know what you're talking about. And I hung up. She is. And then she called me from a different number. Uh, from one of the uh, apps or whatever, where you can call people, and it's another number pop up and shit. She called me from that number. She was talking about, yeah, I'm glad you didn't say nothing. You walk it down, but uh, they were trying to get me to uh, get you to implicate yourself and shit like that. And I'm like, shit, how they even know my name, bro? Like, how my name even come up here, you feel me? And she was like, I don't know who I could be. I'm like, so why you in the police station? How they even know about you? You feel me? And I'm like, yeah, you gave my name up. And I hung up on Now my whole thing is, you know she was in the police station. And then she called you from another number saying, yeah, I'm glad you ain't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? They was trying to get me. Why would you feel comfortable to even talk to her right then and there the second time i would have still been playing it look man stop calling me i don't know what y'all talking about man i don't know what they talking about don't call me no more because i know i ain't did and i know they ain't got my picture of my name that's cap like you already know from the first call she was bogus and then like you said what is she doing now so you know what i'm saying that second call is what gave you away because you like man you gave my name or how the f <laughs> you ain't got no reason to give my name up because I wasn't there, gang. That wasn't me. Mind you, he said this girl was connected to King Von. That's how I, that's really how I got wrapped up in the situation because she gave up my name and shit. And then you know, a few more people that was connected to the nigga gave up my name. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit felt like a setup from the jump. Okay. So he's saying a few people that was connected to King Von gave up his name in this murder. And it felt like a setup, like 
they was trying to set him up for King Von. Okay. Because he was already booked. You feel me? Already tied. But. And like, why all the fuck? Why all y'all say my name for? Right? And y'all try to like downplay and shit too. Like, what the fuck? So then I'm thinking like, man, this all his people like they trying to make it seem like it was me. Oh, I know what they doing. They trying to get him off. Put all the weight on me. Get him off. So I can take the route of this shit. So he say basically he peeped it. King Von people was telling on him, <laughs> trying to get him knocked off so he could take the rap for the murder. So was he wrong for telling? Or he still don't get no excuse and no pass? And another thing, was King Von behind this idea? It's all his people, like they trying to make it seem like it was me. Oh, I know what they doing. They trying to get him off. Put all the weight on me, get him on. So I would take the rap for this shit. That's what they was doing though. Okay. So I peeped it before that, you know, why it was going on and shit. Especially when the lawyers can't stop like showing me, you know, you know, calling me and shit. I'm like, yeah, look at him, bitch, I was talking you know. Like, yeah, he ain't gonna say, he ain't gonna say nothing about none of these people though. He did these people that's related to him, you know. So you felt like it was it was so so you felt like it was people telling on you in regards to the murder. So that's what led you to telling on Kayvon. It wasn't even that. It like niggas steady saying like I told on. Mm -hmm. Like everybody needs to just dial that back a little bit. Like you gotta be you you gotta know like what me and bro talk about, what we was on and shit like that. Like he wanted to choose his own path. Not me knowing what I was up against and shit. I was choosing my own path, you feel Like, yeah, I shot the bitch out of me, you feel They shot at me first, type shit, you know what I'm saying? And he wasn't on that, you know what I'm saying? So it came like, it was a riff at first. So for the people that don't understand what he's saying, he's saying that he wanted to choose his own path. King Von wanted to choose his own path. He said, yeah, I shot at them. You know what I'm saying? He said King Von went on that first. So he basically saying he just wanted to admit it. He just wanted to admit to the police that he shot at them. Yeah. And King Von saying, nah, I ain't doing that bitch. I'm taking it to trial. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't finna admit to nothing. I'm taking it to trial, gang. And see, I ain't gonna lie, man. Big Mike. You got dudes like that. You got dudes that go out here and commit murders and crimes. And then when they get caught, they ain't scared to go to jail. They like, shit, I lay down for it. I don't care. Like, they got people like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And King Von, like, nah, gang. I'm taking this shit to try. I ain't trying to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. Him and King Von ain't see eye to eye. Big Mike, he trying to lay down for it and say he was guilty. And take a little deal. King Von was like, nah, I'm going to trial. So now in that situation, they need Big Mike to flip on Von. But then it, it was like, this what we on. You know what I'm saying? This what me and him talk about. Why all that shit other motherfuckers talking about and shit like that? Like y'all see what I didn't put in my appeal. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see what I what I put in my appeal. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all y'all don't got my discovery. Y'all don't got none of the shit that was going on. Y'all don't got none of them none of you know shorty no statement. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't got none of that shit. So but like I put what I wanted to put in up. You know what I'm saying? Like I took bits and pieces and said some shit, which I really ain't even really do my appeal. I paid the nigga in the joint to do it. You know, like 500, I think I gave him 500, 600 or some shit like that. See, a wife can pay for that shit, but I paid the nigga and, you know, he filed the appeal and shit like that. But the shit that he was putting in there was like making sense and shit. Like, I ain't do that shit, dude, did yeah, that shit. You know what I'm saying? It was even better that, you know, I don't like speaking on dead niggas, but it was even better that shit. He was deceived. You know what I'm saying? For me to be able to get back. Cause as soon as he died, that's when my shit came right through. Like they're like, alright, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wrap this shit. But at the same time, like people don't even understand, like, 
the shit like me and bro was talking about the shit me and bro was doing the shit we was plotting shit like that like i was plotting my own little lane you feel me yeah i smoke I, I pop dude ass you know what i'm saying i smoke dude ass but they shot at me first type shit and he so he basically was saying that his defense was he was going he was going for self defense. He was going to admit that he did it, but he was going to say it was self defense. That's what he trying to get at. Like, yeah, I, he he was telling the police like that was his lane. Like that was just going to be his getaway or his escape plan. Like, yeah, I shot at him, I killed him, but they shot at me first. So he was going for the self defense route. He liked that shit, you know what I'm saying? And then when the song came out from Lil Bro, that's when it really got hectic. You know what I'm Why saying? he talk? Uh, Why he talk? No, I ain't talking about that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's when he got out. I'm talking about when you still book. You know what I'm saying? But Why he told is a hit. I'll ask you like that song. So what, what song you talking about? I'm talking about when uh Rootsy dropped the Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So it caused like a rift between me and the hood and shit. So now. Basically, everybody was looking for a way to oust me from the hood because I was a household name on that block. Mm -hmm. So in order for you to get my brother, you got to outcast me. So that's when, you know, he got out and all that shit started coming out. I, you know what I'm saying? I told him this shit. I ain't give a fuck about none of that shit. So let me ask you this, though. I, know I just heard you talking about the appeal, but you had already kind of like gay statements even like in interrogation right. in the room right in the beginning right once this is what it was once i got presented I mean, what was going on and what it was i knew the best way for me to get up out this well i didn't know i thought the best way for me to get up out that shit was just telling my shit you niggas hired me first that's what happened type shit you know what i'm saying right and Basically, said one thing led to another, shit, and it was over with. So, how was like how how was your jail time? You know, did the COs or other inmates give you troubles? You know, knowing who me? Yeah, man, you gotta stop the plan, man. I've been in division. I was in division nine the whole time. I was in Cook County Jail. And any nigga will tell you, ain't no nigga play with me. Don't nobody play with me. Like, everybody thought I was going to be gone. This is what's going on right now, man. Everybody thought I was going to be gone. I was going through all that time. I came home, I was going to be an old man. So I wouldn't be able to do shit. But now that I'm home, niggas scared. Because they know how I am. Like, you was playing with me. You was saying little shit. Y'all was doing little shit to my little brother and shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was getting us to shootouts or whatever. But now it's like, y'all thought I wasn't going to come home? Fucking goofies. And I want to say this, man. Big Mike. Keep your nose clean, gang. Because just like you said, they ain't think you were gonna come home. They ain't think you were gonna be able to stand on business for your brother, Wooski, being shot in the head. The feds looking at that too. And the feds gonna be watching, making sure you won't get no retaliation. So keep your nose clean, gang. Because just like O Block, 63rd, whatever you want to call it, just like they expecting you to get get back for Wooski, the police is too. But at the same time, I didn't even think I was going to come home though, shit. I was, I was content with my 28 years. I was say, you was looking at 28. I was content with that shit. You feel me? I was one of them niggas. I wasn't in there crying. You feel me? It took. Basically, it took, you know, my lady to come back in my life and say, and she, you know what I'm saying, she gave me that little extra push that I needed, and I stopped fighting hard for that shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But in Cook County Jail, like, I never once had, like, I was literally beating up out the niggas in the every single day. Everybody ran to me. Niggas who, who, like, Vaughn here fight anybody? I'm not saying that he would. But niggas who was bigger than him, he was gonna come get me. In that county jail. I ain't never been a PC nigga. None of that shit. I wasn't hiding from no niggas. None of that shit. I was in the them niggas up, man. Going crazy. Ain't nobody play with me, man. On the streets, niggas weren't even playing with me. So why would they play with me in the division now? 
I was in the trenches in that bitch. Knives everywhere. I'd been around it. Ain't nobody never not once played with me, bro. Mm -hmm. Not once. So can you tell us, Lord, like how 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 did the climate change when you was in jail and, and K Von had got out and blew up to be a superstar rapper? Well, it really ain't changed for me. Like, I mean, it changed because you had a lot of fan niggas. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like, oh yeah, King Von, your rap go, oh yeah, y'all hot now and all this. I'm just looking at it. one thing I hate, man, I hate the big wild, bro. Right. Like I hate fan niggas, you know what I'm saying? Fan females, that's different. But if you a fan nigga, like, you could be a fan nigga. But like when you like overly excited, like you just going over crazy and shit, like a woman like be cool, man. Your ass tweaking, like, watch out. You know what I'm saying? But when I start hearing about it and shit, you know what I'm saying? I usually just be like, yeah, he went out there and got high. Like, that little nigga went crazy when he went home. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was seeing him music and shit, like, you know, it's, it's busted. You know what I'm saying? He's doing this thing. And at this time, before White Toad and all that shit came up, I was still talking to the man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I used to call this man, I swear to God, bro, every fucking day when he got up. That's why and why he told King Von son, he say, don't call my phone no more. But my thing is, if he would have never told on Von, how would that would have worked out knowing that allegedly King Von was connected to Wooski getting shot? Like not saying that King Von actually shot Wooski, but just connected to Wooski getting shot and him dissing Wooski, like how would that would have worked out? Like, Big Mike calling Von every day, and Von still out here in the streets dissing Wooski. Like, how would that worked out? Like, I don't. That would have been a crazy situation to me. I guess everything do happen for a reason. Every day, from when he was out in Iowa doing this thing before he started doing me. But when he first started going to the A and kicking him with Lil Durk and shit, you know what I'm saying? I used to talk to this man all the fucking time, bro. Like, all the time. Yeah. Uh, since we mentioned this song a couple times, I just want to ask about it, the song, Why He Told. Wow, that's a cold ass song. That song about you? It is. Okay. It is. Everybody know that. You know, he put it out there. He, you know, made a song about it. It's hot. You know what I'm saying? It's a real, it's a real uh, thought out, wrote out song. Like you could tell he was in his feelings about yeah, he this was song. Hurt. He, was, he, he was in his feelings and shit, and, you know. I was one of the, uh, I still am. I was one of the niggas that, you know, he looked up to and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like he learned all this shit from me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was teaching them niggas and shit, so. You know, I, the route that I, I decided to take and shit like that, he didn't, you know, fuck with it and shit. And it was an easy way for him to get money anyway. So if he go at Wooski and he go at his big brother, you know, he gonna get hot. Everybody know how Vaughn got hot. He got hot by talking about my brother and talking about me. Yeah, he definitely had a lot of, uh, it's a lot of this lines about yourself. It's a lot of this lines about your brother. Right, so all that shit, everybody want to hear that. Right, you know what I'm saying? Who don't want to hear about people that dissing you? You know what I'm saying? And then nigga, who dissing his big brother? Who him? Yeah. So I was like, of course you know y'all know what I'm saying. And shit, he telling me, I, I get to the nigga. So when you say why he told it's a hot song, you sound like you like it. Like, what what was your reaction when you first heard it? It was like when I first heard it. It was, I, I heard the snippet while I was locked up and shit. Man, listen to it and shit. And at first, I ain't hear the whole song, so I'm like, man, that song ain't about me. I'm like, yeah, you been crazy on that little pod that I heard and shit. But then, um, when I came home and shit, you know what I'm saying? I was just going through it, you know. Basically, I was doing my homework. You know, I've been doing my homework on Megas, the song, the music, whatever like that. But I had listened to, I had came across the song and shit, and I started listening to it and shit. I was like, it's definitely about me, man. These fans on this song, this fucking song definitely about me. Mm -hmm. shit, you know what I'm saying? So my OG you know, was listening to it and shit like that. You know, my bro you knows listening to it and shit. And everybody like, yeah, that's what all that song that he talking about so well. And I 
ain't get mad like people thought I was gonna get mad. You know what I'm saying? Everybody thought like, I was gonna bug up. I seen all the YouTube. Oh yeah, Big Mike finna come home and be with Wooski and he finna be STL. Big Mike finna come home, y'all know he a Miss Kennedy, he finna go shoot park with you. Big Mike this, Big Mike that. Right. Like, keep talking about me, keep saying my name. That's what I want you to do. Yeah. Hey man, we got Triple Threat Friday tonight at 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure y'all pull up. We gonna go into details about this situation, man. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Promo alert. Promo alert. Promo alert. Today is your boy Catch the Hook TV. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Hit that like button. Comment and let him know I sent you. He shoot videos and he also drops skits on his channel. Make sure y'all tap in. The link will be down in the comment section. For me. Promo alert. Promo alert. Promo alert. Today is your boy. OG Griffin. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram, subscribe to his YouTube channel, hit that like button, comment, and let him know I sent you. His link will be down in the comment section. Check him out. And I just want y'all to know, man, I'm helping people get monetized. If y'all don't know, man, I be behind the scenes. I be behind the scenes helping these new YouTubers get monetized, helping their channel grow. A lot of people you see I do promo for, I'm behind the scenes helping their channel grow. If you a small YouTuber and you trying to get monetized, you need a thousand subscribers, you need 4,000 watch hours, hit me up on Instagram at music101ceo and we're going to get the business club, man. I'm going to put something right here, man. You can see this young lady right here, she put the work in. She listened to what I said and she put the work in and she got results quick as a mug. You hear me? Listen, I thought it was a glitch. I ain't gonna lie, she is the fastest growing YouTuber that I ever gave advice or help in my life, for real. Because a lot of y'all be procrastinating. It's a lot of YouTubers that I took under my wing and they not consistent. This young lady right here, she was consistent. I told her idea, I gave her some tips in less than a week, less than a week, her numbers tripled. Her numbers triple. A month later, she monetized. Man, listen. If you're trying to win, hit me up on Instagram. Music 101, CEO. Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is Mr. Go Viral. Y'all, man. Mr. Go Viral. Y'all make sure y'all follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and hit that like button, comment, and let him know I sent you. Mr. Go Viral, he posts viral shocking clips, man. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you tap in. His link will be down in the comment section. Listen to me, y'all. Go hit subscribe, gang. Got that? Mr. Go Viral, keep doing your thing. Every day you wake up, you need to promote your company. Every day you wake up, you need to promote your brand. A lot of people don't like to pay for promotion. Well, guess what? You need to turn into a promoting guru. Marketing is the number one key to success. A lot of people is not making it in life when it comes to company businesses or music or talent, whatever it is, the product you're selling, whatever it is, because not enough people have seen or know you exist. You can have the best product in the world. You can be the best rapper in the world. You can have the best company in the world. But if we don't know you exist, how can we engage? You need to put it in their face every day. You post it every day. I don't care if you get one like, post it again, post it again, post it again. They either go unfollow you or they go engage. If I see something come across my phone five, six times, I'm going to eventually tap on it to see what it's about. Marketing, promoting is the key to success. Y'all better get to it. Music 101. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Promo alert. Promo alert. Listen, if you guys want promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. Music101ceo. I'm doing $20 promo. For $20, you will get one video promoted on my YouTube channel. 
For $40, I will promote three videos for you in my YouTube channel. $60, I'll promote six videos for you in my YouTube channel. And $120, I will promote 12 videos for you on my YouTube channel. You need YouTube promo? You trying to get your business up? You trying to run your numbers up? Hit me up at Music 101 CEO. Hey, you don't want to miss it. The results is great. Thank you, Music 101 CEO. Thank you, baby.